Hello and welcome to the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina for live coverage of the MotoGP race. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing, so we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which riders have opted for soft. We are moving now to the starting grid, where the MotoGP riders are ready to start the race. Tension is sky high, but these guys are seasoned pros, able to withstand any kind of pressure. Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we are on MotoGP 18 for another video for another 2019 mod video. I'll say I've already said video but I said video again and today we are at Thomas Rio Hondo and we are Andrea Iannone on the Aprilia. Now the, it should be a pretty interesting race. The Aprilia is a pretty nice bike actually. It's not got a lot of power but it handles pretty well. It's got a bit more power than in GP17, I think. That's for sure. But it was similar in GP17. If you've ever used the Aprilia in GP17, uh, or in fact 18, really, I suppose now, since they, they are similar. Um, if you ever use the Aprilia, you will notice that it actually it turns pretty nice. It brakes pretty nice. It's just not got a lot of power behind it. And I think that is the same with a lot of other bikes on the grid. The KTM is really good for that as well. It's pretty stable on the brakes, turns quite well, it's just not got a lot of power so that's where you lose out. Uh, uh, especially coming out like turn 4, I'm bad at turn 4 anyway so and the final turn I'm pretty bad at that too. You can probably tell that they are similar corners. In fact I think like they're not the same angle obviously but they're basically like the flipped versions of each other at slightly different angles. You can see we've just gone past Nakagami, we're going past Spagger, and now we're going past Abraham. We are launching past everyone on this warm-up lap. It's, uh, calm down, Andrea. It's, it's not the race yet, mate. But, uh... I don't really know what I was going to say. I was going to say something, but I've sort of forgotten it. You can see that Nakagami is having another go back at us. Obviously, uh, still 2017 performance... I said 2017, didn't I? Still 2018 performance, so, uh... Nakagami is at the back, despite obviously being uh, quickest in testing. I have I was thinking about maybe doing testing as, you know, sort of a basis for the performance, but, you know, Nakagami, like, set obviously the fastest time at the end of her ref, and that would probably put him, like, I'd have to probably replace Mark with him. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a lot better than he was last year, but I don't think he's going to win the championship, so... You know, uh, not too sure about the performance. I might try and level it a little bit. I mean, it's probably better than now in 2018 performance. Ready to start the race at Termas de Rio Hondo. Riders just have one thing on their mind now, being the first to cross the finish line. Right, we'll have to leave the mod talk for later. The lights are on. We're ready to start the race. It's going to be a pretty chaotic one. Lights out. Where we go off to start? Off the start of the line, basically the same thing. Speaking of Nakagami, we are behind a bit of a screen freeze there as we go flying down towards turn one. On the brakes, you can hear the air horns in the background. There's a bit of a screen freeze looking inside Nakagami, inside of Bandai. Bandai is pretty far down the order. What's almost happened to him there. But now we're behind Hafi Siren on the KTM, on the side of Siren, on the side of uh, Morbidelli as well. Trying to go to the inside of Mir, on the side of uh, quite a lot of people. <laughs> Around the outside, Jack Miller through turn four. It's just the names don't always come to my head. I should know them all. I know them all like off by heart, but we're in the sort of stream of Lorenzo now. Quattararo being pushed out to the right, uh, left hand side by Lorenzo, but he's trying to go back around the outside. We're at the inside of the pair of them. Can we get the bike stuck? Yes, we can. So we are up into P8 already. Pretty good start. Can he get us back at us? No, he can't. We're going through the long turn six. The AI broke pretty early for turn seven, so you've got to be careful for that. We got the inside of a lot of them. All the inside of even more. This inside Valentino. That's it off the brakes. We didn't hit Valentino. We, uh, Valentino. Valentino, I meant to say. Lost a few more places there as we're running around the outside now with the throttle on. We've got past uh, Rins and now Zarco and now the two Yamahas. So we're up to third place already. Pretty good start. We ran a bit wide there. But Davizioso is right behind Marquez and we're going to have. That. Maybe we can have a look into the Penultima turn because they're pretty weak into there too. But on the brakes. Here we go, all the insides, turn 12, turn 13, sorry, but we've, they've almost hit us. Wrong gear, sort of. So we didn't quite do it. But all the inside of Dovi now to the last corner, a bit of screen freeze, we go over the line. We're now pulling alongside Marquez, a master screen freezer. 
We're, we were half a tenth behind Marcus over the line. We're trying to go right outside into turn one. Andrea Iannone takes the lead on the Aprilia, but Marquez doesn't have any of these. Pushing us out a bit wide here. Jean Mir passes Quattraro. And we've passed Marquez now as we run down towards turn two. We've missed the apex a little bit. Is Marquez going to have a look up the inside? We've got to try and get a good line. He can't do anything about it. Flicking it over for turn four. Clipping the apex straight on the throttle. Up. So turn three, it actually is. It's turn four. Apparently turn four is a straight, okay? Seems about right. Probably like a bit of a kink or something. But as we go flying down towards now, turn five. Don't know why it took me so long to say that, but Marquez is trying to get back to the inside. You saw Dovitz here, so trying to go around the outside. But we're still in front of Marquez. I think we've probably got the job done now, since this is the sector where the Aprilia really shines, especially compared to the Honda and the Ducati. As we saw, obviously, last lap, we galloped to the back of them, but you can still see that proximity error. So Mark's not done with yet, but definitely stretching the gap. Sean Mir up to 8th position now past Kalko. So Nakagami has passed Abraham, and Abraham has been passed again by Nakagami, apparently. And Valentino's fallen out of the race. So uh, it's not good. But we now have a 6 tenth lead over Marquez. We're coming up towards the penultimate turn, and we're going to be starting the final lap. But may as well talk about the mod as it was before. As we flick it left through the last corner on the throw. Oh, on the grass. I have to go off the grass quickly. A bit of dirt being chucked up onto the RSGP. But we're now flying down towards turn one. Doesn't seem to have cost us too much time, so not too bad. But uh, yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, I'll uh, try to balance the performance in the next update. But it's going to be probably. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Not a lot of bases to go on, you know, testing's a bit random. Obviously you've got Marquez being, I guess, somewhat injured, but not really. Like, yes, he had his dislocated shoulder, but he also had his dislocated shoulder for, like, races where he won, so I don't think it really bothers him too much. Lorenzo's definitely injured, though. Uh, obviously people getting used to their new bikes aren't very quick, are they, on the first day, so... Especially if they're chucking up the scenery like uh, Mr. Iannone. But we now have 1.1 second lead over Marquez, and losing the rear a little bit on the brakes there. Clipping the apex through turn 7. Straight back on the throttle once again. I mean, as I said earlier, the Aprilia is a really nice handling bike. Pretty good for this section here. Section? Sector? I, I seem to stumble over my words quite a lot, saying that, you know, I'm literally a commentary YouTuber. It's basically my, uh, you know, the whole thing that I do on here, and I still manage to mess it up. But, uh, as we come towards the penultimate turn, let's have a look at the, uh, Old subscriber, 796 subscribers, so I need to thank you guys for that, but uh, flicking it over now, through turn 14, not towards the line, we've won, it's another race, got a bit boring towards the end there, didn't it, but I uh, thought I'd just check the subscriber count to say thank you, but uh, we won it by 2.2 in the end, so pretty good, but anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you in the next one. We are picking up again live from the track, where the top three riders have just arrived on the podium for the award ceremony. Each Grand Prix makes its own story, but these guys will definitely be ones to keep an eye on in races to come.